Um, I've got the um, calendar to April, and it's the um, 6th of December today. Let's see who's behind stands. Look. Can it open? It's another packet. If I can get it out. There we go. A fun pack, fun indeed. So, I might put my Christmas jump on over my Batman jump. Look, see, it is that cold. Um, I was actually cooking a little bit, I was surprised. Um, when I checked the temperature today, I think it was 2 Celsius, which is low, but it was like minus 1. Maybe it's dipped. Um, it looks like it is minus something. I don't know what I mean. Um, too cold, my hands are freezing. 2 Celsius, it says. Humidity 95%. At least it is dry so far. It's going to get warmer for about five days and six days and then drop again, it seems. Um, so I can, I can read each day. So day one was Glacium V. Presumably it, it is rigged for each um, advent calendar rather than being randomised, or maybe it is randomised, I don't know. But Glacium, that was the first of December. Then it, it was, um, hang on. That was yesterday, it was the day before. I think the dangler was day two, the stake with a sidekick dangler, or oh, it may have been powder evolved. It was, one, it was one of those. This was either, either this was the second or this was the second, the other was the third. And then it was Stanzler, I believe, and then Fusion Strike. And here we are with the 6th of December. So really cool letters. Let's, let's open this up and see what's inside. It's a warm, a warm Pokemon like Slugma would be really good. Um, I'm not sure if that fits in with the Christmas thing. Oh, it's um, spaghetti. Oops. Oh no, I've lost something. Um, talking about the set, um, it's um, I thought they put only two cards in instead of three. Um, um, spaghetti, spaghetti toast, sp spaghetti toast, um, spaghetti toast, sp spaghetti toast, spaghetti. I just like to call them spaghetti. It's easier. Um, Croxley. Okay, it's all the starters from. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Um, because there's two, two cracks, like different artwork and different attacks. One is number 50, one is 49, and this is a reverse hollow, so... I mean, do you get, do you, is, it, is it any of the 193 cards, maybe even including secret cards, because that's going to be confusing. Um, but that's a funny coincidence, if so. As, as of all the cards it could have been, yeah. all were starter Pokemon and uh, two unique starter Pokemon. Um, that seems a bit odd. Um, because no, cause, and they're all, they're all common. How do they do the great duality with the fun packs? I think it, they must clearly be rigged, so they're all common cards. But maybe you can get non-starter Pokemon, but anyway, it's really cool. Um, two different Croxley and the Spaghetti. Spaghetti, Spaghetti. And uh, this was yesterday's. Um, it's a bit cold in here. A bit uh, dark, isn't it? Okay, that's, uh, that's not helping. Get the a good balance, I think. Kind of. There we go. That should help, okay. Hang on, that's just back to where I started. Never mind. 
Boom. Yeah, no, it's, it's so furry, they're fuzzy. It's too fuzzy. I need a bit of lights. There we go, that's a little better, I think. Um, so this is Fusion Strike, 10 cards plus an energy, 11 cards. Let's see who we have. So we've got the code card for the new TCG game, TCG Live. Oh, I can see some very shiny. We have Morpeko, who's, um, were they Sun and Moon generation? So many generations now, I'm losing track. Cat, wow, that's a very um, uh, dominant looking cat, a very, very um, present cat to be, very, you know, solidified and very nicely done. Even the cat in the background is very present. Uh, Bunnelby, Bunnelby's um, black and white generation. Right? I was going to say Diamond and Pearl, but it's not. No, 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 X and Y, of course, X and Y, yeah. X and Y generation. Good old bunny. <laughs> looks so happy. That is the happiest Pokemon, the happiest bunny. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. The artwork is really cool. Um, and obviously the attacks for the TCG uh, for the game are really cool too. Drillbur. It always reminds me of um, someone from, uh, what was that cartoon and comic called, um, How the Animals of Farthing Wood. Um, so it's just a classic sort of uh, mole appear, or badger, no, mole or badger. I'm forgetting which is which, not that. That, that is a mole Pokemon, is it? I know there was a mole and a badger um, in Farthing Wood. Um, so the mole used to climb on top of the badger or something was adopted and um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a mole, not a badger, right? Yeah, it's yeah, a mole, yeah. Badgers, badgers do dig, they dig sets, don't they? They're called, they're, it's called a set, yeah. Excuse my tired self. Um, that's a shell mate trying to contact alien overlords by the back of it. There's some transmission going on. And it has the fusion, fusion strike insignia. Now, Bell Toy is going way back to a ruby and sapphire, and it's a reverse hollow with the um, elemental energy. Can you see the energy? And um, that's really nice. And a dance, a dazzling, dazzling dance, nice alliteration. My um, very lovely friend was um, using, employing the use of alliteration in the group chat yesterday, so I was commending her. So I love alliteration, and I was saying, um, at her house yesterday, that um, my contacts, so her and her husband and other friends, um, their names are alliterative. You, you cannot pick anything, it has to fit, so it has to fit their personality. And um, but also, I do it for people I meet um, for the first time, like um, parents of students. I hear their name, I think, right? Carrie and Claire. Like Carrie and Claire is the mother of a student I used to teach. Um, She's, she's caring, and um, so actually, that in that case was an instant. But then, when I started to, I think she was one of the first um, non friends who I started uh, giving everybody alliterative names. Uh, caring Claire, that's your name. I was thinking, what, what could your name be? So, Claire is your initial, C is your initial for Claire, and it just came to me straight away, Caring Claire, and the rest is history, it just sticks forever more. Um, um, but yeah, so actually, my con if you go into my contacts, it's like uh, I know the names in, Lit in Mr. Men and Little Miss are not alliterative, but it's kind of like because they were descriptive, obviously, Mr. Tickle would tickle people, which is kind of creepy in a way, but um, <laughs> randomly tickling people. But um, it was its own universe, you know, its own ideas. Um, um, so if you go, it's like something out of Mr. Men and the Little Miss, if you go through my contacts, you care and Claire, um, elegant, Eleanor, respectful, who are up and so forth, and um, um, say so that they, they just fit straight away. Um, uh, and it's fun, cause in a way it's like a challenge, but at the same time it's never really been a challenge, because I just, I don't know, I'm just really good at matching the initials, uh, and it, it always fits, and you're not allowed to change it once it's set, it's set, but you are allowed to expand, and you can add other letters, I decided this year, and, uh, so I'm going to add another word to someone's name, and 
here, so here we have a dazzling dancer, a, a dangerously dazzling dancer, a, a um, desperately, dangerously and desperately uh, dazzling dancer, disturbing, dreaded uh, dance, um, despicables. <laughs> There's just something so fun about alliteration, uh, using the same letter, or using the same sound. Um, yeah, really nice effect. Oh, it's it's all together now. Steel slash metal up, down, left, right. Shake it all about. Bunny, if you wants to, at precisely five fifty two BM. Marry Evelyn Levine. Tap your head. Say hello to Pikachu. Something like that. that was my my long my long version. Um, so it's such a long winded name for energies. What what are what are Nintendo up to? Honestly, um, oh, look, sure is a rapid strike. I mean, look at the way it's beefing itself up. It, it, it's preparing to launch with frenzied energy. Oh, and look, Dancer. Dancer, that's the, um, that's as precise as, yeah, just different artwork. That's cool to have the standard version and the full art version. That is really cool. Um, and the Simmer Sage, um, a monkey like uh, Pokemon, that is really cool. Unfortunately, my hands did not warm up after a brief routine. Um, really cool. Um, so cold, I needed to make some more tea in a bit. Um, that's the standard with the snowflake and um, So I think the pair of standard reprints, say, for the snowflake emblem in special edition. But they're both very nice. This is the so so called I had trouble getting getting it out of the calendar, but then I think it's undamaged. So it's very squidgy and um, or slightly squidgy anyway. And it has the date on it, made in China. And yeah, it's really cool key. I can attach that to my keys. Um, the more things you attach to your keys, um, the more it helps um, not to lose your key. And you have so many things attached, and when you're taking them in, in and out of your pocket, the um, um, sudden things become damaged because I keep getting upset because my a photo of my friend Alice I have attached to my keys and the. The little um, the triangular thing, which um, oh, is it that? Yeah, that sometimes that comes undone. And well, anyway, the key, the photo keeps coming um, unattached. So I need to find some better uh, uh, key ring sized um, uh, what, do, what do you call them? Photo key rings. Um, uh, cause I, I pulled a few from Amazon. Um, because they, they were just breaking very easily, so I thought I should uh, have some backup ones so that I'm, uh, um, in case it happens again, of course it has kept happening. I think I'm down to my last one now, my last photo keying. Um, so I need to find something stronger. But uh, let's look at this one. Powder Evolved. The new set is called um, Powder. Paradigm or Paradio? Something, a bit of alliteration. Paradio, something to do with another dimension or something. Um, um, no, but no, Paradio evolved. Um, what's this? Paradio evolved is the newest, I uh, until the new one was released. Um, uh, I can't remember now. Um, I saw an advertise, I saw advertisements everywhere, and now they are disappearing. Um, is Pokemon TCG discontinued? No, it is not. Oh, but the app was removed from the app store. Yeah, prior to the official launch of the new version. Okay. Um, what's the new? 
Why am I not finding advertisements? Oh, let's just go to the Pokemon TCG website. Come on. Paradox, Paradox Rift. That's it, Paradox Rift. Oh, there are cards with an ancient thing on. An ancient emblem. And future, of course, but like in the video game. Um, okay. Interesting. So that's the um, live thing again. And we have a wing goal, a Labian Sapphire Pokemon. It soars high in the sky, riding on updrafts like a glider. It carries food to tuck when it's built. So these are sort of a pelican, no, not pelican. Um, if you think gold, obviously a form of seagull, but I think it's more, is it pelicans? It's not really a seagull, I mean, look at the beak. Is it that? Toucan, toucan, that's a toucan beak, isn't it? Toucan beak. Um, and the wings might have an airplane. Um, um, wing gold, seagull, like a fusion between seagull, toucan, pelicans. I was, I was just thinking when I was talking about food, uh, there are those, well, multiple birds actually, common maybe for almost all birds. They, um, we go, they, they eat food, then we go agitate it into the uh, mouths of their young. Um, but it's more notice, noticeable with the birds I'm talking about that have been known to eat smaller birds. I think even reptiles and rabbits, they have this big throat. Um, so my, my mind is um, frozen by the cold. Um, um, guys, it will come to me in a moment. Uh, they're, not, they're not pelicans, I'm thinking of something else. Um, Oh, I, I can I can picture them. They they wander about. No, not storks. Not storks. Um, not herons. They're, they're slimmer herons and storks. They have these fat necks and they just walk about. A bit like seagulls. Like they own the whole world of the land. For the um, they swallow whole like ducklings and gooselings and such. Um, wow, that is lovely art with a pokey. Some of the royal um, ancient Pokeball esque symbol with a sly looking pine car. That is beautiful artwork with a rollout attack and 70 hit points. Tink, tink, tink. What? That's a telly topy. What? That is not um, a Metal Smith Pokemon. That is, no, you're making that art. I mean, of course, they're all made up. But, uh, no, I refuse to accept no. I know I did this before with another Pokemon, it's my shmallow looking Pokemon, but uh, this time I'm really serious. This Pokemon never existed. I, they've just slipped this in. It would be so much fun actually to reveal, um, to reveal uh, um, Pokemon through the TCG. Not to do the video games, just you know, you just go through the cards and you see this Pokemon you've like it's happening now. That's never existed. No, Tinker Tink never existed. Tinker Tink is a totally topic. Oh, Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La, Poe, and Tinker Tink making their debut in 2023 on the 6th of December. Yeah, that's not what a scrap pick up, pick an item card from this card, put into your hand, Fairy Wind. They no longer have the fairy elements, nor the um, dragon elements in the um, TCG. <sighs> Tinker Tink never existed. What? Well, that's look. That's not a. I've never seen this Pokemon before in my whole life. What? It swings its handmade hammer around to protect itself. Sounds like Amy from Sonic, but it's the hammer is often stolen by Pokemon that eats metal, like um, male metal and um, the other version. Wow. There's even a vaguely Pokeball esque design on the helmet, very nicely done. Um, this Pokemon have existed. I don't think it's the artistic style confusing of it. 
Let's make this. Oh, now main key. Oops, main key exists um, in a classic main key TCG. Um, uh, classic main key style, simple, clean drawing, very nicely done, and straightforward attacks mirror, mirroring the um, artistic style, low kick and hang down, and very nice. Uh, mouse, mouse hold, mouse hold, um, evolves uh, from Tandemus, I remember Tandemus, um, so they sort of give birth to another mouse and they also become larger but I mean I understand how it you know it, 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 adds, it, it adds complexity to the to the to the thing and, and I suppose you know if, if they're joined not quite joined that's the hip and tandy mouse but if, if somehow there are two that are somehow one maybe they have a hive mind or not but Oh, and then they evolve into a uh, mouse hold, uh, household mouse, house mice, very good. Um, reversism, as I call it. Um, but a uh, family Pokemon, okay, makes sense. But surely there's still count as independent Pokemon. Surely that's two mouse hold and one Tandy mouse. Um, nor relentlessly puts one damage count on each of your opponent's Pokemon for each of the mouse holding plays. So, Sort of, um, can expand on a call for family attack. Now I remember, okay, I remember Tinker Tough, I remember Tinker Tough, so I can see how Tinker Tink exists as the pre evolved form, but okay, I remember Tinker Tough, but I still do not accept the existence of Tinker Tink. I refuse to accept you going to my list of banned Pokemon. Uh, until there's an official announcement, until the, an official statement has been made by Nintendo, until I know their position, I refuse to accept the, uh, the existence of Tinker Tink. But I do remember Tinker Tuff, Pulverizing Press and Play Rough. And then we have um, Paul Mike. Evolve some Paul Me, okay. Maybe I accept that you exist, maybe. I'm not sure, but very electrifying. Um, yeah, wow, very nice. Sagoro, choose up to two of your Pokemon and heal 50 damage from each of them. That is pretty nifty. And the Reverse Hollow. Ooh, oh, and another Reverse Hollow, Geocomo. Is this unofficial Geovani? Um, Geocomo, discard a special energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. Wow, that's, that's a sizzling sausage right there. That's a satisfyingly sizzling sausage. And another Reverse, wait, wait, hang on, the borders. Holographic, but the um, image is so it's not a reverse hollow as such. But uh, that is cool. Low kicks, what some martial art based brain mantis thing? What this? No, this one didn't exist. Are you making this up? What evolves a nimble? I've never seen nimble before in my whole life. Very nice though, but uh, I think you're gonna have to go to the band list. And finally, a basic energy. So, wow, that's. Two Pokemon that um, suddenly were snuck in, that's never existed before. 